27H, Second State Court Judge, is the resolution in the act. Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman, the commission was several months ago, the State Court Judge Edwards presented to you a study that recommended the creation of the second judge for our state court here in Lancaster. Uh, we have, for your consideration, a proposed resolution requesting the General Assembly establish the second judgeship for our state court. We have all the necessary documentation there for your consideration to uh, what upon approval. Any questions for Mr. Pritchard? Um, Judge Edwards, yes, um, will you work with our local delegation to make sure that the legislation moves through, or is that something that that will be handling? Well, please, please go ahead. Please yeah, go ahead. Uh, the, the delegation, I mean, what, what happens is the city county attorney has already reviewed the legislation, obviously. That will simply go to the legislative delegation. The legislative delegation has their own votes who of course go over it again and then that person whoever decides to shepherd that bill and sponsor that bill would then be responsible for moving it forward. as far as you're concerned you're more or less a casual observer after this point unless they call you and Correct. okay yes. that, that answers my question yes. i'm sure you have the liberty to express to our local legislative delegation the caseload that you have and the impact that's having on your office and on your court system and yes. the need for this, you do have that ability to yes. share that, that with them. And I will, Mr. Page, share with them the, the fairly detailed study that was done by the right. administrative office of the courts and the Council of State Court Judges. As you, you all know from our previous conversation, they did a very exhaustive study where they go and look at exactly how much the sitting judge, how much time they spend really on every single thing they do as part of their operating day, regardless of what that duty is, and of course they are various. And they compile based upon that a mathematical ratio to allow really any objective viewer to look at that data and determine whether or not that truly substantiates the need so that it's not just me telling you or me telling the delegation that I'm real busy. This gives a way to really um, know that the, the statistics and the numbers and the case and all of that is combined to give this, this ratio to allow that to be a, a quantified thing. I think it'd be important, and I don't, in fact, because I didn't know what you were judicially bound uh, to do and not to be able to do, but the information you shared with us several months ago that I've, that I've kept about the caseload of other state courts and other counties where they have smaller population but have two judges and the load that you're carrying, you are able uh, by your judicial responsibilities to express that to the yes. General Assembly so they'll really see this isn't just us wanting another judge, but yes. we do have documentation justifying that we need Yes, sir. I, I do and will, Mr. Page. And in addition to that, the, the uh, Council of State Court Judges every year is mandated to put out a case count for every single state court, as they are superior, for every single case count of all the courts in the state of Georgia that are state courts. And all of those courts, uh, you know, any legislator has the ability to look at that, the governor would as well, to look at that and, and, and see exactly what those case counts are. On that same document, it, it, it explains in details how many judges those, those counties have um, that sit in the state court. And, and as we talked about before, uh, the two closest uh, uh, courts by virtue of uh, sheer number of cases going through the court um, would probably be, say, Bibb County, which now has two full-time state court judges. Henry County actually had a 1,000 fewer cases uh, than us in the, in the study that was done. They have four full-time state court judges. So we will still probably be behind the curve in terms of ratio of judges to cases, but again, I came to the commission asking for this, um, this ability to uh, go to the delegation, ask them to put forward this piece of legislation so that we could continue to provide the services necessary to the court and to the community um, because they, they deserve this timely ability for the court to handle that problem. Thank you, sir. Any other questions? Judge Ed. Okay, thank you very much, Judge Ed. Right. Good. Good. Right. Commissioner, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, 
I'll make a motion that we approve this act to be signed by the commissioners requesting for a, a second state court judge. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any other discussion on the motion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries.